Growing pains will happen when you try something new in life, and such was the case last season at times with USC's offense. But heading into year two, offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield has a new sense of confidence after reevaluating a couple things that he did as well as the offense. That was the toughest thing I've ever went through in my life, probably last season. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm not trying to sound it, but I, I was I came out on the other end proud of, of who I am, proud of the toughness that I don't just talk about it, I can do it. The things that, you know, for the last 10 years with Coach Rule that we talk about, the toughness, the discipline, the accountability, like I was able to just, you know, lay on my laurels and, and just keep fighting. Uh, you know, I told some guys the other day, like, it would have been easy for our players and our coaches last year to throw our hands up and say, we don't have a quarterback, we don't have this, we don't have that. Let's just go recruit for the future. The future is bright, but we didn't. We had, uh, we had the toughness every week to go look in the mirror and figure out a way like put ourselves out there for a player to put himself out there when everything's going against them and try to win a game. I think says a lot about the toughness of our coaches and our players and coming out of the season. That's what I'm more proud of than anything. I, I get all the other stuff, but you got to go through some really hard things early on in the process in order to come out on the other end. And I think we're at least itching that way right now. I think it hurt our quarterbacks last year from a technique standpoint because we were throwing towels like it was like a towel ball so you're doing drills and you're simulating throws with a towel for them to be able to go out there and throw a football and us to be able to be out there and throw routes on there and get the timing and the coaching uh i think that that speeds up at least the passing game just from a timing and spacing standpoint i mean these kids have had an unbelievable summer and uh to be able to get out there with a the ball you know we can't do 11 on 11 or anything like that we can't be out there in 7 on 7 but just to get the specific work with the running backs tight ends receivers and the quarterbacks, uh, I think it's going to pay great dividends for us. This will mark the first time since Brian McClendon did it in 2018 and 19 that South Carolina will be returning their offensive coordinator for a second straight season. Reporting from the Spurrier Indoor Practice Facility, Mike Yuva, Gamecock Central.